Hello everyone, welcome to another uh, UFC review. Hang on, I'll go sort this thing out. Sorry, the a, a weird pop-up just came up. I was closing down. Anyway, yes, uh, this is another UFC review. Uh, this is for Manoa vs. Anderson at the O2 Arena in London, England. Uh, I was only able to really find the main card, although... Uh, was it just the main card? Oh, it was. I thought there was another fight that we watched, but there wasn't. Anyway, yeah. Uh, oh, I should also actually... Well, I remember. Ah, the Performance of the Night Awards for the last UFC card, because they didn't really have them when I was reviewing it, so... Kelvin Gastelum, Medicine Barbas, and Michelle Pizarres, and Paula Enrique Costa. Alright, so now we're going to move on. Also, I'm um, sorry for my rambling, I really don't have a lot of time to do this, because at some point I'm going to have a haircut. Uh, it's not going to be completely gone, it's going to be like grade 4, so I will still have some hair, but all of this is pretty much going to be gone, as is my face fuzz, so we're just going to go into the review, really. And it's going to be short, hopefully. So only four fights on the main card. First one was uh, Arnold Allen against Mark Juan Amir uh, Allen won by split decision. It was a pretty good fight. There was a lot of ground game, especially in the third round. There was a lot of ground game scrambles and exchanges, which looked really, really good. A lot of really good wrestling. Uh, yeah, my hair is just going all crazy. It doesn't want to leave my head, but you, you're going to have to. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was a really good fight. Uh, Allen won by split decision. Uh, he did a pretty good job, all in all. Uh, it was a close fight, and I definitely think they made the right choice with uh, giving Allen the win, because I feel like he did do enough. Uh, they were both undefeated in the UFC up until this point, actually, so uh, Amir Khan, got his first loss in the UFC uh, when he lost his fight. But he fought his ass off. Uh, he landed a lot of good strikes. He was clipped with a big left in the second round, I believe it was. It was a pretty good back and forth fight. Uh, no, there were no fight of the nights, regrettably, on the on the card. And I don't even know if I would give it to this one because, as good a fight it was, it wasn't my favorite. Uh, and obviously, I didn't get to see them all because they were. I don't know. Let's check this. How many? Seven. There were seven fights on the prelim card, and I didn't get to see any of them because they weren't an option to record. Uh, so yeah. But a good fight. A really good way to kick things off. Next up is what was probably my favorite fight of the card, uh, even though it probably should have been because it was a sad ending. Uh, Brad Pickett, in his last ever fight, took on Marlon Vera in his UFC debut, I think? I'm going to have to quickly look at that. Uh, no. He's, he's, this is his fourth fight in the UFC, actually. I think I might have covered him before, but yeah. It was a really exciting back and forth fight, and I definitely had, uh, despite how close it was, I definitely had Pickett winning the first two rounds, and he definitely would have won had it gone the distance, however, uh, Vera landed a head kick, a really good head kick, left high kick to the temple of Pickett, uh, knocks him down, and then he went and landed two punches, and then the referee, Grant Waterman I believe it was, stopped the fight. After two punches which Pickett wasn't defending, a lot of referees, like, they wait until the fight actually starts defending before making a choice. That stoppage was way too early for my liking, and I don't think it's the way Pickett wanted to go. But he showed a lot of respect for Vera, Vera showed a lot of respect for Pickett as well, which I quite liked. But the fight shouldn't have ended that way, it shouldn't have ended that quick. Especially when it was pretty close, I think there was like a minute and a half left. And just about, no, a minute and ten seconds. Uh, left in the third and final round, and he should have... It, the fight shouldn't have been stopped, in my opinion. But Vera got a good win. He got performed to the night. Uh, Pickett went out on his sword. Uh, went out as a class act, which I, which I do enjoy. He's been around a long time, and I hope he enjoys his time off. So, what more can we say? Also, we're on the subject of sad stuff. I know I posted a status on Facebook about it uh, the other night. Or last night? Yeah, last night. Uh, rest in peace, Chuck Berry, the inventor of the dock walk, which Angus Young uses in your honour. Good. Awesome. So, yeah. Sad way to go out, but Brad Pickett went out like a champ. Even though he was never a champ in the UFC. I think he was in WEC. We're going to move on. Next up, we kind of have one of the more even fights. Uh, the co-main event, uh, Gunnar Nelson against Alan Joban. 
Uh, Nelson and Jarvan went pretty back and forth in the first round. There were some good exchanges, although I do give it to Nelson. Then in the second round, when it started, Nelson landed a, he- a head kick that stunned Jarvan. Then a punch which stunned him more and brought him down to the ground. Then he got a really good guillotine choke and tapped him out. It was kind of a squash in the second round. The first round was fairly even. But in, in the second round, it was definitely Jarvan. Uh, he got a... No, it wasn't. It was, go- it was Nelson... I messed that up. But yeah, Nelson did a really, really good job. He, uh, he got a good win. As he continues to do, he's on a really, really good streak right now. Uh, showcasing way better striking as well these days. So yeah, really good work from him. Got performance tonight, which was well earned. Jarvan, I would like to see again soon. Because I do like Jarvan. I like Nelson a lot as well, but I like Jarvan too. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see both men in uh, another fight. Not against each other necessarily, but maybe. Who knows? And finally, the main, main, main event. Uh, Jimmy Manu against Corey Anderson. Kind of a lot of, uh, kind of a lot of plotting back and forth, even though there were some good moments, especially for Manu. Uh, nothing really stuck out, except for where Manu straight up landed, uh, just landed left punch as Corey was moving to his right against the cage and knocked him out. One punch, that's all it took. That's how powerful Manoa is. He had many opportunities to land it, and obviously he tried. Uh, he really couldn't, but... He's a very powerful dude, and people are underestimating him. I would like to see him fight. I, I think he's in talks to actually fight the winner of the... Uh... Richard, no? Daniel Cormier... Uh, John Jones? John Jones? Anthony Johnson. What is wrong with me? Yes. Uh... Okay. Jimmy Manoa is going to fight the winner of whoever the winner is. I said the same thing twice there. Between Daniel Cormier and Anthony Johnson on April 8th, which will be the next EOCR review, I think. Uh, so it'll be a while before another one of these. Uh, yeah, Cormier against Johnson. Two, the second fight. So, all in all, it was a decent main event. All in all, it was a pretty good card, even though I really only saw the main points. Uh... There really wasn't a whole lot to say, to be honest. Uh, no, it was it was okay. Uh, it was an English event, which is always awesome. But uh, I really can't think of much else, so I'll see you all for my next backtracking episode, where I'll have most of my hair gone. <laughs> uh, when that episode will come out, probably maybe Friday? I think Friday. So, yeah, at some point in the weekend at least. So, I'll see you all then. Thank you for watching. Uh, Take care. Bye-bye.